Among sports car enthusiasts, it's something of an open secret that Porsche sandbags the 718 Cayman. Giving the car less power and longer gears ensures that, numerically at least, it can't quite touch the brand's iconic and more expensive 911. However, in terms of experience, the 718 Cayman gives up little to its stablemate, or, frankly, any other sports car. It's a gem in any configuration. Limit understeer and underwhelming power are factors in the base model, but it's still quite delightful. The GTS 4.0 model edged out a comparison test win over the mighty C8 Chevrolet Corvette, although the GT4 lost to the BMW M2 CS for not being quite as fun. We headlined our 718 Cayman GT4 pros and cons review as Ultimate Track Tool, a title that we may need to revisit now that the GT4 RS model has debuted. More powerful, aerodynamically optimized, and lightweight than any other 718, the GT4 RS looks to close whatever gap there might be between it and even high-end 911 variants. In our first drive review, we said, the most gobsmacking, track-focused factory Cayman yet is a dreamy dance partner. The 718 Cayman is equipped with a 7.0-inch infotainment touchscreen. Apple CarPlay is standard, but Android Auto is not yet available. Built-in navigation is an optional extra. An 8-speaker audio system is standard, while 10-speaker Bose and 12-speaker Burmester premium systems are available. Although Porsche doesn't yet build a hybrid or electric version of its electric sports car, that's due to change in the coming years. The German automaker has confirmed the next generation of the Cayman and its drop-top sibling, the Boxster, will both be electric. Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom claims we'll see the pair by 2025.